Greetings. Welcome to my latest episode of Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, Yale. The question for today is, now that you've gotten in and you're on early assignment or you've gotten in on regular, should you be here? I pose this question because one of the biggest challenges happening right now is the fact that now that you've been admitted, you're considered a golden commodity. An example of which is there are schools that are 10 and below that would love to get you to come and will give you a full scholarship. So if your scholarship offer didn't include large amounts of money, this might be a consideration because a full ride at a school just below the top 10 provides you more cash for your inheritance it also makes paying for grad school less painful. So if I were you, I would seriously consider that. Number two in terms of should you be here is if you're not sure what you're gonna study, be aware that most schools have a gap year rule, which is you can stay out for one or two years and not have to worry about it. You can still come and enjoy your years, but now it gives you more time to prepare in terms of identifying what it is you might like to study without spending $70,000 a year to try to figure it out. Um, the third thought is that now that you've been admitted at this level of school, you have the option of switching schools because they know you're good enough to get in. So the question for this video is, should you be here? And the answer might be no, based on the fact that other schools will give you a lot more money because the top 10 schools do not have to hand out cash to get people to attend. I'll take you out with a view. We're in Washington, D.C. And just taking a look um, at Georgetown and Washington and the Memorial. Adios, au revoir, la hit road. Choda hafez. Tschüss, max gut. Um, uh, e bueno, e la vita.